In Creo Parametric, you can create a network to facilitate the routing of cables, especially those that have logical reference information from Creo Schematics. Let's take a look at doing that. Here I am in my assembly. Let's open up the cabling subassembly by using the icon from the mini toolbar. Let's bring back the display of the skeleton. I already have a harness in here. Let's get rid of it. I'll just right click on it and choose delete and then click the OK button. Now let's go into cabling mode. I'll go to applications and then cabling. And this one already still has the logical reference information. For example, if I update and compare and then execute, here you can see that the cables aren't routed because I deleted the harness, but the connectors are still designated and the spools are still in the model. Let's close out of here quit out of the menu manager. Now let's start off before I even create my new harness. I'm going to create some reference geometry in the skeleton model. I really have everything that I need in the skeleton to begin with, but I'm going to create some additional points in here to use as references when routing. I don't have to do this, but I want to show you a few different techniques when you are creating the skeleton. All right, so let me see, let me reorient. I'm going to start out over here. I'm going to add in some reference geometry to help me sketch. Let me turn on my axis display. And let's just grab this axis over here and a circular edge. This will help me dimension my points that I'm going to create for referencing. And this might be a little bit of overkill, but that's okay. And let's see. How many points am I going to create? Let's create another one using this and then over here and dimension one off of here. Now let's do one last. I'll do another one over there. All right, so now I've got my references in here. Let me go back to my sketch orientation and let me change to no hidden line just because it'll help me see where my references are. To create points in the sketch, you're going to use the point command from the datum group. Be aware that there is a point command in the sketching group. Don't use that one because those points exist only in the sketch. So I'm going to create a point over here. Let's create a point over here. Uh, let's see. Let's create another point here. Let's see a point over here, point over here, and a point over there. That's good. Let's put in some different dimensions in here. Let's use a value of four for that one. I'll probably use four for all of them. All right, I've got my reference geometry. Let's hit the check mark to get out of here. So now I have some points that I can use from routing. Let me turn on my point display. Now let's go back to shading with edges. Let me close out of the skeleton. And now here we are in the harness and cabling mode. Let's create our harness part. Let me call this the electronics LRU cable harness. And let me use my start part and metric. It didn't use the default start part because you're harness part has to have the same set of units as the assembly. Okay, great. So now I've got this created over here. To start out the network, you're going to use the route network command. And by default, it is going to use on. It'll be on some certain object. I want to start off coming out of this connector over here. Let me go to my layers. I'll use the pick icon to select the back shell and turn on the display of the axis for that part over there. And now I'm just going to get it to, oh, had it there a second ago. Okay, there's the axis for routing. And then we can drag it off a little distance so that the wires will come out over here into that location. Next, I wanted to go into the axis over here, so I will right click and I'll choose a long axis. When you do a long axis and then select the axis, you're going to get location points at each end of the axis. Then I'm going to go into this point over here. This allows me to show you another technique. Uh, so 
For the next location, I'm going to choose Use Direction. And I'll pick this edge as a reference and let's drag it out some distance over here. So these points are on the surface. When the wire gets routed, it's going to end up being 0.6 times the diameter of the cable off of the surface. So even though I created the points on the surface, when the cable is routed, there will be a little space between the cable and that actual surface. It'll be 10% of the diameter of the cable. All right, along axis is still selected. That's good. Let's select, oops, let me change. Let me hit the undo button. And let me change to on instead of use direction. And I'll select this. And again, I get two location points on there. I'm still using the on command. Let me select this axis over here. And then let me turn pre-selection highlighting off because it's just flashing way too much. Uh, file and then options and then selection. And I'm going to uncheck pre-selection highlighting. And then for the next location, let's see, let's make sure that it is set to on and I will query select and make sure I'm getting the point over there. And then for the next location point, let's do use direction again. And I'm going to pick that edge over there. Let's eyeball this out. Let me try value. How does 900 look? Yep, that looks good. Then for the next location, let's change back to on. Oh yeah, let me show you a few of the other options as you have here. Offset from point and offset from previous. I usually never use those. I usually just do on, use direction, and along axis. But again, let's change to on. And then, oh, let me undo that. Let me query and make sure I get this axis over here. Click the OK button. For the next location, let me change back to, oh, still on, on. And let me make sure I'm getting the point. That's good. Click the OK button. Then let's do another use direction. And I'll pick this edge over here. And by the way, I try to pick where about where I want the location point to be. That way I know exactly what I want to change my dimension to. You don't have to change the dimensions, but I like to do that. And now we'll just repeat the process. I'm going to go a little quicker just because I'm using these same techniques over and over again. All right, so you can see that I have quite a few location points on here. I'm at the end of this particular clip. I'm going to do one more going into the connector. So let me make sure that my next location is on. And I don't have to be a long axis. Let me uncheck that one. And then again, since I turned off pre-selection highlighting, let me use query to get the axis for routing. And then let's drag it out off of here a little bit. And I always like to have this last location point on the axis going into the connector so it comes out of the connector nice and straight. So those are the main parts of the network. I'm going to add a few more segments, but uh, I just want to show you that if you hit the check mark, you can then go back and add more segments to the network. So let's choose Route Network. 
and right now it's set to on and let me change this just to make sure that I'm selecting a location when locations on here and by the way right now you can't see the network because I am in thick cable display that's one thing to be aware of If you want to be able to see the network you need to be in the center line style all right and so for the next location let me pick there got the location point that's good let me click the OK button and oops let me orient I should change my spin center uh, now for the next location on here let's choose make sure that we're set to on Let me change to query let's change this to axis just help myself pick what I want that's good I got the axis that I wanted and again just drag it off of here a little bit so now I've got this additional location point uh, or diff additional segments so that when it comes out of here it can either keep on going this way or it can go along this way into the connector let's do that for this connector over here so I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm going to choose to create a new segment which is available down here some of the other different commands that you have you can edit a segment and you can also switch and so for example right now if I zoom out it's highlighting if I were to create another location point it would be from this point over here but you could switch ends if you wanted to start out from one of the other ends instead all right so let's see let's go to where am I going new segment and for the first one again I'm gonna help myself pick what I want because oh, let's start off with the axis here let me use query and pick over here and there I have the axis routing let's drag it off of here a little bit and then for the next place I want to be is going to be the location and again I'm gonna use query just to make sure I'm getting it because I turned off my pre-selection highlighting click the OK button and let me take a look at that yep that looks really really good in here let's hit the check mark now one thing I noticed I think one of my location points might be a little too close to one of the clips over here and this might cause some problems with your uh, minimum bend radius so let me select this over here and then you can choose edit definition and we'll change this to like 375 just a little further away from it and hit the check mark and so be aware that there's a happy balance for location points you don't want too many you don't want too few uh, one of the big problems with having too many is being able to satisfy the minimum bend radius let's now turn off the axis display and the point display and we have our network now let's try routing some cables oh yeah before I do that though let me turn my pre-selection highlighting back on I think I'll be okay now options selection enable pre-selection highlighting by the way there's a config.pro option if you want to turn that off uh, one thing that you can do is you can change what are called your location priorities or network priorities so for example if you always want to force something to go through some location point you can do that so I can select this location point and then go to properties and here in the dialog box you can control the grouping at the location point here we're going to get straight segments through here but here's the priority and the default is primary which means that it'll try to use this if it can you can change it to secondary which means that it'll try to route through the primary locations first and then try this one you can disallow it but I'm going to choose required to force it to go through here and I'll click the OK button and that location point now is red one thing to be aware of as you're routing you may be setting priorities for different location points be aware that it's going to keep that priority until you change it back to primary so sometimes people set location priorities and then forget that they've set them and then they're like hey how come i can't route through my network all right i have got this in here let's go to route cables and we'll use the search tool and here we'll select the first one and move it to the added items list let's click the OK button and so as soon as I select it you can see everything looks fine it's all routed it 
detected that there was a network so it's going to use via network you could change this to simple route if you want but let's go back to via network and it shows the path along here so again it's a nice way of setting up where you want your cables to go let's click the ok button for this one and before i route the other two cables let's go to a thick cable display and i want to show something to you let's zoom in over here you know what, let's turn off the display of the skeleton. It's just way too annoying. All right, if you take a look now, in this particular case, because I have a network, it routed with the jacket. If you saw one of the other videos where I did the routing and I used simple route, we didn't get the jacket around the cable. So it's just a little uh, weird quirk that you have in there. Let's go back to a center line display so you can see the rest of the network. Now let's go to route cables. Let's use the search tool and let's try the second cable and then click the OK button. And again, you can see the preview of how it's going over here. Let's click the OK button or hit the apply button for this particular one. We can jump over to thick cable display. So again, we have the jacket going to the last uh, point on the network and now let's route the last cable let's select this one over here and then click the OK button and again you can see the preview of it following along the network path let's click OK to route that particular one and so there we have it nice jacket and everything we can see how the cables are sort of wrapping around each other over here uh, I'm happy with this let's hit the close button and close out of here and now we can see our cables routed through at the top level of the assembly oh one last thing to mention a config.pro option related to those jackets let's go to file options configuration editor let's hit the find button I'm going to search on the keyword jacket there is a config.pro option cable jacket termination the default value is network ends the other option that you have is ports if you change it from network ends to ports then when you route using the network instead of the jacket stopping here at the end at, of the network at the last network point it'll go all the way into the entry port but I like this because you know it sort of represents how wires would be coming off of some of the individual pins before going in here and of course you can adjust those network location points if you want the jacket going closer to the entry ports I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshow.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.